Hello, my lovely Taurians. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do see that Taurus has started watching my videos more. Thank you so much, y'all stubborn asses. But thank you so much for the support. I love you guys very much. Um, this is going to be a general reading to see who or what's coming towards you in love. The messages can be vice versa, okay? So I could be speaking in the perspective of the person that you are dealing with. Oh, I gotta say you're dealing with a Gemini. Ugh, I just got that in my head. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, so this is a general reading. If you do need a pre precise reading, then you can um, go to my website, prettyintuitivetarot.com. Um, I do have availability for readings. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Spirit, Angels, White Light. Who are what is coming towards the Taurus Collective in love, please? Show me what I need to see for Taurus. Messages for Taurus in love. Who is coming towards a Taurus collective in love? Could be the Lord of Virgo, Taurus. I'm also picking up on Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. Mm. For what's coming towards a Taurus collective in love, please? Taurus, Taurus. For what's coming towards a Taurus? Okay, you have Take the Lead, which is the Three of Wands. You also have New Vitality. Um, new, new Vitality is the Ace of Wands. One more card, please. For what's coming towards a Taurus Collective and Love Spirit. For what's coming towards a Taurus Collective and Love. Ooh, okay. And then you also have Sadness and Isolation in the Reverse Taurus, which is the Three of Swords in the Reverse Taurus, somebody could be waiting on a reconciliation with you. This person really wants to reconcile with you. And um, I just feel like you could be feeling alone, Taurus. Are you feeling lonely? Like you just feel um, like love may not be for you. Or you could really be missing someone. But why are your stubborn ass isn't talking to them, Taurus? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's hilarious. It really is. All right. Leo energy here. For what is coming towards the Taurus collective and love, please. Taurus. A thinking woman. And a woman holding a coin. Hmm. Okay. A thinking woman and a woman holding a coin. Some of you are just like, you know what? Do I even want love? Or do I want to just focus on my coins? You know? <clears throat> Some of you may have been having financial constraints lately. You're just like, I don't know if I really want to overwhelm myself, okay, with love shit, okay? I don't want any drama. I just <laughs> I just want my coin, okay? That's all I want. I want my coin, and I want my food, I want my beer, I want my cigs. I just want to sit in front of the TV and just be in peace for once, okay? So let's see. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who is coming towards them in love spirit? Okay. Ooh, shit. Okay, so you have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry. Actually, I don't even think that was meant to come out. I like when they fly out instead. Who or what is coming towards Taurus in love, please? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, come on. Let your, <laughs> let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And then you have wedding, okay. Bottom of the deck is trust. Some of you could really just have some trust issues. And even if you love this person or like them, this could be why you're hesitating to move towards them, okay? You just don't want to be hurt again. Some of you are healing from a, um, a recent breakup. It's like, you're just like, you know what? I don't even know if I want to deal with that love shit again. I don't know. But someone is definitely waiting on a reconciliation with you, Taurus. Or they want to reconcile with you. Some of you are waiting for someone to reconcile with you. But here's that energy, Taurus. I'm just, you, I just feel like a lot of you are just like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know like what I want to do. I don't know if I want a relationship. I don't know what the fuck I want to do right now. Who or what's coming towards Taurus in love, please? Taurus. Who is coming towards them in love, please? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus. Taurus. Okay. Taurus in love. One more card for Taurus, please. Okay. 
Taurus, you have the Judgment card in the reverse. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the Seven of Swords. The Six of Cups. The Ace of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And then I will put the Emperor card here because I only usually take six cards. Anyway, so Taurus, I feel like someone is coming to really clear the air with you. They really want to have a talk with you. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you, Taurus. Um, they really want clarity. Um, I feel like whoever the hell this person is, like I said, I'm picking up on Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, okay? Um, Virgo, Capricorn very strongly here but oh yeah also aries you could be dealing with an aries but i feel like taurus uh, someone from your past is not really truly over you and they want a reconciliation with you they really see you as their ten of cups okay um maybe this person has been acting like maybe they have been wearing a false mask and acting as if they don't have feelings for you or it could be you that was acting that way but I feel like, Taurus, you might have trouble trusting this particular person. Maybe they were sneaky in the past. Maybe something they did, like, was just fishy. They were acting kind of weird in the past. And you have not fully let that go with the just judgment card in the reverse. Even though you do have the same feelings towards this person, you're just like, eh, I don't know if um, I want to risk getting hurt again. But I do feel, Taurus, that you miss this person. You do love them. I do feel that. But you're just like, you know what? I don't know. Maybe I should just focus on myself, focus on my coin. Like, you know, I don't think I should put my focus in love right now. Like I said in the beginning, um, this person may have been acting like they don't have feelings for you, like they don't care. That's all a facade, okay? Or it could have been you, so. But somebody has not gotten over the past is what I feel. And they're not over you, Taurus. And they want a reconciliation with you. They do want to reconcile. But they just feel like communication is the issue here. Or you could be feeling like that. But someone needs, like, you guys just really need to have a, a, a talk here. There needs to be a talk here. Open and honest communication. It doesn't have to be emotional, but it has to be open and honest. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But, you know, Taurus, I just kind of feel like, you know, you see this person as the one, but for whatever reason, you just kind of feel like there may not be hope here. Clarify judgment in the reverse for Taurus. Who are what's coming towards Taurus and love? Why is the judgment card here in the reverse? This is someone who, like, would want to marry you or you would want to marry this person. You do see them as, like, wifey material or husband material. Clarify the judgment in the reverse. You do see them that way. Yeah, you feel like in the past, there. Um, you feel like in the past, it, it just didn't work out. It was unsuccessful. And, you know, you just kind of feel like this person was maybe all over the place or like they were being manipulative is what you feel. I feel, Taurus, I feel like they were playing games. And it's like you just can't seem to get over whatever they did in the past, even though you have a lot of love for them. So someone still kind of has like a chip on their shoulder. Clarify the Ten of Cups, please person was probably behaving sneaky in the past we'll see what that seven of swords is about yeah you do see them as someone that you would want to have kids with that you would want to commit to you do feel that way but Taurus I just feel like it's very hard for you to trust this person something that this person did in the past I'm telling you um you know could be dealing with a Libra something that they did in the past you just and you it's like you do want to reconcile with this person but you're caught up between should i trust you should i not like you just don't know you don't know clarify the seven of swords it's like you're kind of afraid of trusting this individual trusting anybody honestly yeah could have been an aquarius but, um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. You kind of made a decision to stop fucking with this person because you just felt like they were sneaky. And for some of, the, for some of you, you feel like this person was just, um, they were acting like, for some of you were dealing with someone who acted like they didn't really have feelings for you, okay? And they were very head over heart. And you, or you could have been the head over heart one is what I feel. 
But it's like, you want to talk to this person, they want to talk to you, but it's like, you know, what the fuck is going on here? You want me to talk to them for you, Taurus? I mean, just like Tyler says, like, you know, you want me to talk to them for you and text them and meet up with them and shit? Someone has to make a move here. Someone has to make a move. It just needs to be a talk. Clarify the Six of Cups. But whoever this person is, you do feel like this person is like a soulmate. You feel this with them, but you just cannot get over whatever the hell they did in the past. This is the problem. You just can't get over it. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Six of Cups is in the reverse. Could have been dealing with a Pisces. You have the Hangman in the reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. It's like you want to get closer to them. You want to talk to them. You want to be like how you guys used to be in the past. But it's just you got to get over that shit in the past. That's all it is. Someone is like stubbornly holding on to something that happened in the past. Um, you see, you have the Ace of Swords again. So communication definitely needs to be had here. That's all it is. You guys just need to have like a very blunt and honest talk. Cut to the truth of the matter. Let's keep it real, you know. If you're still holding on to something that this person did to you, Taurus, you just need to talk. You need to talk to them and let them know, listen, I'm still bothered by this. You guys need to like um get on the same page with each other is what i'm feeling there needs to be adjustments are required for sure clarify the ace of swords for taurus but i'm feeling like you both want to reconcile with each other you do but i feel like they this person may want it more than you you want it but it's like you have your reservations about this person and about love in general you just don't want to get hurt or duped or be lied to you just don't want you don't got time for the lies her, the hermit in the reverse, the ace of wands reverse. Yeah. For some of you, you know, you're just not where you want to be financially right now. So you feel like your finances really need attention. And you just don't know if you want to, um, you know, add a relationship on your plate. Because this is someone that you would really want to go far with. So if you're not stable as you need to be, right, you might not feel up to, you know, reconciling with them right now. And for the Taurus cross watchers, that could be a reason why they're not really talking to you or they're not really engaging. It's not that they don't love you. They do love you. But um, it's just, you know, they, they kind of need to get their shit together right now. They have to focus on themselves, they feel. The Hermit in the reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Four of Swords. Yeah. For this to start up again, you guys need to talk. You need to talk. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse for Taurus. Something needs to be fixed here. Something needs to be changed. As a, adjustments are required, is what I'm is what I'm feeling. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like someone also ran away from the connection. Taurus, I feel like it could have been you. Maybe you ran away from this connection as well because it just felt too intense for you. But yeah, you have the Judgment card, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like you just don't know if. Um, this could be fixed. You don't know. And it's like you're kind of like on the fence. I'm just getting this on the fence energy. Like, do I open up and trust this person again? Do I forgive this person? It's hard. This is why the thinking woman is here. Even if you're a man, this is why the thinking card is here. And you also have the coin card. Yeah. But um, I feel like whoever this person is, Taurus, they're feeling all out of whack without you. I mean, they miss you. They want forgiveness from you. They want to come back into harmony with you they do they're waiting on a reconciliation with you i feel like they're waiting for you taurus that's just the way i'm picking up i feel like they're waiting on you because you have the three of wands and the ace of wands they're wanting a reconciliation with you because they feel a, a, a divine connection towards you this is what they're feeling they're feeling like um something spiritual is, is going on between you guys like i said it could be a gemini but they just want you to let your guard down someone needs to let their guard down that's all it is. I don't know it's easier said than done, but somebody needs to let their guard down. Let me clarify the emperor. Who or what's coming towards the Taurus collective in love? Why is the emperor here? The knight of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, someone needs to let their guard down. Someone is just kind of like keeping everything to themselves, giving the other person the silent treatment. 
But even though this is happening, they still feel a spiritual connection. They still feel it very strongly. It's like, even though you guys don't talk, I feel like there's still some telepathic communication here. I still feel like you guys have a connection spiritually. Maybe you guys um, communicate in a 5D. If you don't believe in that, um, I feel sorry for you because it's very real. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys have been communicating even though you guys don't physically talk. I don't feel like you guys are really talking. But I do see the urge to want to communicate. The urge, like missing each other. I do feel like you guys miss each other and you want to communicate. But with that Ace of Swords here, there needs to be open and honest communication, not just communication. You guys really need to talk from the heart. Someone needs to open up. But yeah, I feel like you guys are definitely each other's wish fulfillment for sure. And you guys both want this reconciliation. Yeah. And with the Page of Swords, I feel like someone is watching the other for sure. Or maybe you guys are both secretly watching each other. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. I feel like you guys are watching each other. You guys are checking for each other. Even though it's like you guys both are not talking, it's like you guys are still checking for each other. It's so cute. Because you guys love each other. It's here. But someone just needs to get out of their head, stop overthinking, you know, and give a chance. Take a risk. Take a leap of faith here. For some of you, you know, you're going to have to let your friends help you because you may not really, you may need advice. You may need to, you know, need to hear someone else's perspective on what you should do. Okay. But, so, but for some of you Taurus women, I feel like whoever this person is, they might propose marriage to you. Okay. I have to put that out there. So you're going to have to ask your friends, you know, should I marry him? Like, should I? You know, even if you're same sex, I do feel like there's some sort of proposal coming in. The Ace of Swords could also indicate a proposal of marriage. Like, this is the idea. Let's get married. Okay? Let's be together. Let's get married. Period. You know, the Emperor is also a very serious guy. He is, um, he is wanting commitment. Let's get married. Okay? So, you're going to have to let your friends help you or think about it. I feel like you guys have a lot of friends anyway. Okay. For some of you, your friends could be in your ear telling you shit about this person. Um, and that might not really be the best thing to do, you know, because I don't, I don't know, Taurus. I don't really feel like this person means harm or means well. For some of you, maybe you, you may have misinterpreted whatever they did or said. Okay. Cause you already have trust issues, right? That's what I'm feeling, Taurus. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Sorry, you. Let me see. Yeah, main male, like I said, this is for a lot of you, this is someone who is really important to you, okay? Courthouse, see? Yeah, this person, I feel like they, they, they're going to want to get married to you. They're going to propose marriage. They want to move in together. House, courthouse, main male, I mean, come on. And then you have the false person, so... Somebody has been hiding behind a mask, for sure. And you guys really just need to have a talk, an open talk. So, um, I do see that taking place rather soon. Ace of Swords is a new beginning with a lot of communication, okay? There will be a victory here. So, I want to thank you so much, Taurus, for tuning in. I love you all very much, and I will see you guys later.